Hi, I'm Leslie McVeigh. Welcome to CTN Highlights. Um, my guest today is Katie Brown, the Executive Director of the, the, Locker the Locker Project. Hi, Katie. Hi, Leslie. Great to see you. Well, the Locker Project is a fairly new organization. It's been in existence, what, two or three years? Two and a half years. Two and yeah. a half years, yeah. and it's growing, growing. Uh, exponentially quickly, yes. Tell our audience a little bit about what the Locker Project is, what the mission is, and what, you, what you're what you doing. Sure. Um, the Locker Project has food pantries in schools so that kids who need food at home uh, can access it and take it home. And we have uh, pantries in 20 schools now, 10 are in Portland, and um, other towns uh, such as South Portland, Westbrook, Falmouth, uh, Saco, and we are continuing to expand uh, further into Cumberland and York counties uh, as our capacity allows. Um, Portland in particular has a really high rate of food insecurity among children. Three out of four uh, children in Portland are food insecure. The statewide average is one out of four, yeah. which is still incredibly high. Yeah. Um, we, we're the number one um, in New, England in New England for, for food for insecurity and children. number nine in the country. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on par with uh, states like Mississippi, mm -hmm. um, which are, are very uh, in, in really rough economic shape. Um, so uh, we have a huge need, and our success is unfortunately based on um, the need that is out there. Uh, so mm -hmm. while we have 20 pantries in 20 schools open right now, there are at least about six or seven um, just by word of mouth who have heard of us uh, mm -hmm. who are on our waiting list uh, for us to open pantries when we can. And this was um, started by a mother. Correct. Who was yeah. volunteering in her child's class. Exactly. And it started right up on Munjoy Hill at the East End Community School mm -hmm. when she, another Katie, Katie Wallace, was mm -hmm. volunteering in her daughter's kindergarten class and noticed that there were always a handful of uh, kids who had to sit out of snack time. Mm -hmm. So while the other kids were refueling, uh, for the rest of the day, these kids had to sort of bide their time and wait. And when um, Katie realized that, uh, for whatever reason, their parents just didn't have the means to send their kids to school with extra food, mm -hmm. she started bringing in the snacks for those kids. And eventually, all the teachers at the school thought she was the magical snack lady. Did she have some snacks for their few kids mm -hmm. and their classes? And so she was spending a lot of her income gladly um, supplying snacks for all these classrooms. Mm -hmm. Eventually, uh, she and the nurse uh, opened sort of an experimental shelf in the nurse's office with some take-home items just to see if any of those kids might need to take some food home, and they did. Mm -hmm. And um, it grew from there. Good Shepherd Food Bank uh, gave them a, a $4,000 grant um, that was um, supplied by Morgan Stanley um, to be able to go to the Good Shepherd Food Bank uh, warehouse and uh, initially just paw through their salvaged um, donated food mm -hmm. and um, restock the, the snack um, pantries and the, the food pantry itself. And after a couple of years of that, um, there were folks interested in having that program grow to other schools. And that's where I came along mm -hmm. and we made her the board chair and I became the staff person who yeah. put the nonprofit together. Yeah. And, and this, is, this is a year round Correct. Pantry. So yeah. how do the children access it during, because most of the pantries are in the schools. That's right. And the schools are closed in the summer. That's right. So what happens in the summer? Well, some of the schools actually stay open through the summer. Mm -hmm. um, Especially uh, some of the uh, special needs schools where we are, um, they will stay open year round. Uh -huh. um, but also, uh, many of the schools have uh, summer programming, uh, so. both the rec department but also summer school mm -hmm. programming. So, at those schools, we keep the pantries stocked and mm -hmm. they're well, um, uh, um, sorry, uh, they are well. Um, Used. <laughs> Used, thank you. Um, but we also are doing more and more fresh produce distributions, oh, both terrific. during the school year and especially uh -huh. during the summer. Uh -huh. So we're getting fresh produce from a lot of different sources, and it's gorgeous stuff. Uh -huh. um, and we'll show up at a site and put it out on a table, um, and students and families can come by and take that uh, food home. So like are I you said, 
in the school year and in the summer right. as well. Right. Are you working with the farmers markets? Or? Actually, not with the farmers market, but that's mm -hmm. a group that we want to speak with. Yeah. Um, but we we get a lot of their um, we get a lot of those farmers uh, produce mm -hmm. either directly or through um, Good Shepherd Food Bank. Mm -hmm. We also get um, fresh produce donated from Hannaford Brothers, some of the stores when they're just taking their their produce off the shelves to make room for mm -hmm. the new stock. And it's wonderful stuff, and it's not getting wasted because they're giving it to us, and then we're right. we're distributing it among the yeah, students and, and families. Yeah. yeah, and this is. Have you talked with the teachers or the administrators in the schools about the difference this has made in the children's attention span Absolutely. and learning? Absolutely. Yes, and and um, we in Good Shepherd uh, Food Bank have tried to do a, a qualitative as well as anecdotal. Uh, sort of encapsulation of how that's gone and absolutely the feedback has been uh, stupendous about <coughs> excuse me one of the schools uh, told us at the end of last school year that even though their students who've been accessing the pantry are still technically food insecure they don't necessarily know where their next meal might come from mm -hmm. once they're home um, it's like they're, they're they're acting as if they're not food insecure anymore mm -hmm. that confidence um, has made such a difference yeah. in their abilities to focus during the day. They know um, there's a place they can get some that's food. Right. And and for people who might want to help <coughs> with, the, with the project, um, it, it really, it only costs $150 a year for to help, I mean, that's sort of for a... For one child, For yes. one child. Yep. Um, that's and amazing. That's that's nothing. It's and really nothing, yeah. um, if they want to contribute or get in touch, they can get in touch with you yep. at uh, uh, mainlockerproject.org. Our mm -hmm. website is one place they can get in touch with us. They can also call our number at 899-9540. And they're also welcome to uh, email me at info at mainlockerproject.org. Mm -hmm. But our website. Um, has a link to our uh, donation uh, page oh, great, uh, and a great. link to our Facebook too. We right. have a lot of stuff that we post on our Facebook page in terms of our events right. and um, the outcome of our pantries, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Pictures of our volunteers and whatnot. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know, you know, just to see a child sitting in class when everyone else is eating and they don't have anything, I can imagine. And I know the teachers. Um, are restricted because of food allergies and things like sure. this. They can't do that. And it must have been such a weight off of their shoulders yeah. to have Katie Wallace come in and s discover this. Absolutely. Well, thank Absolutely. you. And thank keep you. up the good work. Thank and if you. people want to donate food to the Locker Project, they can leave it here. Oh, yeah. We great. can um, have a you can go to their website and see the list of food items that are acceptable. The, ki the kid-friendly food items are, are particularly yeah. helpful. Yeah. Um, and yes, that list is on our website. Yeah. So yes, please, yeah. um, if and you're willing to um, accept the donations here, we, we will, will pick them up on yeah. a regular basis. Yeah. That sounds great. great. Thank you so Thank you, much, Leslie. Katie. And thanks, CTN. Yeah.